What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today I'm talking about Power Automate, I'm talking about expressions, and I'm talking about the first function in expressions. So what is first? First is a function that allows you to return either the first part of a string or the first value in an array. So if it's a string, for instance, um, it will return the first character. If it is an array, it will return the first value in that array. Let's take a look at it. So I'm here in Power Automate. I've got my, um, my manual trigger input here, and I've got a single text input um, up here. I've got a compose action. Just click in Compose. Go over to Expression. Uh, I'm going to scroll across a little bit. I'm going to expand see more in the collections and then I'll scroll down to first. So this one is just wanting a single parameter of just the collection that you're passing in and it says here it returns the first element of an array or a string passed in. So if I click first and then switch over to my dynamic content and go to my input, uh, I can then um, get the first of whatever I'm putting in here. So if I click OK and then click test, uh, I'll perform the action, uh, right, and in here I'm going to put um, the hat, uh, the hat is red. And I click run flow, click done, uh, wait for my screen to update maybe. think maybe this has had a bit of an issue so we'll just go into our runs all runs uh, test succeeded right okay here we go uh, no that's my old one so maybe this didn't run oh, 30 seconds ago. there we go so we'll go in here and we can see T so the the text I put in is the hat is red and the first uh, character that is pulled back because it's a string is T. So that's what that does. So if you um, have need to pull back the first character to a string, that's what this can do. But we can also use this in an array. So let's take a look at that. Right, we'll switch over to uh, our array here. And I've got a couple of uh, variables with uh, lists that are arrays. We'll use this first one called list. Uh, and we'll use the action here. Or the, the function. So click into compose again and again we're going to go to expressions, we're going to scroll down and expand collection and click first, switch back to dynamic content, choose list, click OK and we will test this and we'll see if this updates properly unlike my last one. Click done, run successfully, compose and here we go. So what this has done is this has looked at this entire array and this has gone right what's the first set of values in here like what's the what's the object that we're passing in so that is this bit here and it's output that into here so it's kind of unlike when you use this with a string and it only returns the first character it's not returning the quotation marks it's returning the entire uh, value here so that's why this is really useful sometimes you need to get a, the first part of something so you can use this to do that and you can also use this in conjunction with other functions and other uh, expressions to get the thing out that you need so what do you think about that um, I'd like to know what you guys use this for now. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, if you could like and share my videos, it's much appreciated. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do that. And I'll see you next time.